this is tifr 28 uh, 2010 question the coefficient of x power 3 in this expression in this expression the coefficient of x power 3 so what you will do so first you open this see this you can open yes or no this you can open first you open this because you cannot open this but you can open this your gx is 1 plus x power 3 multiplied by 2 plus x square power 10 and what the question is asking the question is asking the coefficient of x power 3 so you can open this if you open this then you will get 1 plus 3x square plus 3x plus x cube if you open this 2 plus x power 2 plus x square power 10 okay now just tell me this point when you do this with this then what you want just tell me what you want like when this goes with this then what you want you want coefficient of x cube so when this goes with this can you ever get x cube so basically you will get 2 power 2 plus x square power 10 in this what is in this you tell me what is a3 here in this what is a3 in this you can never get x power 3 because you have x square you have x square you can never get x power 3 so a3 will be zero the coefficient of x power 3 will be zero plus 3x square 2 plus x square power 10 tell me this this is already x square so here what i want tell me what i want here i want a1 means x power i want x power 1 coefficient see here i want coefficient of x power 3 here i want coefficient of x power 3 and in because already we have x power 2 outside this x power 2 we have outside so what i want here in this in this what i want in this i want coefficient of x power 1 can we get x power 1 here can we get x power 1 no we cannot get x power 1 we cannot get x power 1 so that is also zero finally 3x when this comes 3x 2x plus x square power 10 so because this x is already there so what we want here in this what we want we want coefficient of x power what we want we want coefficient of x power 2 because already one x is there already one x is outside one x is outside so in this we want coefficient of x square so just find this so this is your 3x and you have 2 plus x square power 10 so what you do just find in this uh what you do so in this what will be the coefficient of x square what that will be you already know this is your binomial theorem power 10 so if you want x square if you want x square then what will be the power of 2 if you want x square means x square power 1 so 2 power will be 9 because you have 10 so 2 power will be 9 and then it will be 10 c 9 then it will be 10 c 9 so what you will get so from this i can say that okay so in this in this complete we want coefficient of x cube what that will be coefficient of x cube in this complete thing that will be 3 multiplied by 10c9 10c9 is 10 10c9 is 10 multiplied by 2 power 9 correct so 30 into yes or no the coefficient of x cube we want so this is what we will get and next uh, okay so the final thing what is the final yeah in this x cube so already x cube we have so what we expect from this what we expect from this the constant term we expect the constant term we expect the constant term so already x cube you have so 2 plus x square power 10 already this x cube we have so from this 2 plus x power 10 we we have we want the constant term means this power 0 if this power 0 then this power will be 10 so that will be 10 c 10 okay so here what is the x cube coefficient the x cube coefficient will be uh, 2 power 10 the x cube coefficient will be 2 power 
so the final answer will be what that will be uh, 32 power 9 so the final answer will be 30 into 2 power 9 plus 2 power 10 this will be your answer now you can check which option is correct so this option not correct this option not correct you can take 2 power 9 co common you if you if you take 2 power 9 out then you will get 30 plus 2 so this is 2 power 5 so the final answer will be 2 power 40 okay so the answer is this so this is your tifr 2010 question this is very simple right 